Are you struggling in making a good slide to show the company growth or the timeline slide? If the answer is yes, then this is the right slide for you. As you can see here, I have put a company growth percentage. On X axis, I have put the years and on Y axis, I have put the growth percentage. And on my first click, it will show me the growth of 2016 with 25% growth and the title will come here. And on the next click, it will show me the growth of 2017 with 50%, 2018 with 75% and 2019 with 100%. This is a great slide for the people who wants to present the data in much easier way. So let's start how to do this in PowerPoint. Before I start the tutorial, let me thank PDF Element for sponsoring this video. PDF Element offers the easiest way to create, edit, convert, annotate, sign PDF documents on Windows and Mac. PDF Element is the best Acrobat alternative and a simple PDF editor to maximize your document productivity. Let me show you how PDF Element works. With PDF Element, you can create PDF from wide range of formats like Excel, Word, PowerPoint, images, etc. You can convert the PDF and apart from that, you can do a batch process. You can convert the PDF at once in bulk quantity. You can combine the PDF. I'm going to show you how to convert a PDF file to an editable document. For example, let's click on convert PDF. Select the file you want to convert, the PDF. Click open. So example, I want to just convert this to a word and just say save. Here you can see the PDF file has been converted to a Word document and it is fully editable. Thanks for checking out this video and don't forget to grab your 50% discount now. Link provided in the video description section. Let's go back to the tutorial now. Add a new slide, go to insert shapes, select a rectangle and go to format make the height as 3 and the width as 1.7 and you can just change the color some light color later on i'm going to change the colors shape outline make it no outline press ctrl d to duplicate it again change the color and now height make it to 4 and just put next to the first one again press ctrl d this will be 3 and the height will be 5. Let me just arrange it and last press Ctrl D. And I'm just going to change the color to some darker color and the height to be 6. Select all by pressing Ctrl A and just bring it down. Now I'm going to duplicate this slide. Right, select the slide, right mouse click. Click on duplicate slide and then go to insert shapes. Select a oval shape, draw the oval shape by holding the shift key. And shape outline, you just give any dark color and shape fill make it no fill and whatever whichever you're seeing here within the circle i'm just going to keep that area and the rest i'm going to delete it so let me just arrange it properly press ctrl d this circle and put it for the second one ctrl d this is for the third again ctrl d this is for the fourth just make sure that this is properly aligned and then i'm going to select one by one and i'm going to remove this now i'm going to select one by one first let me just select this bar then select this oval shape go to format merge shape and just say intersect so only that part remains whatever is within the circle again i'm going to do the same thing select this hold the shift key and select the oval shape merge shape and intersect so this one last one 
intersect that's it now i'm just going to give some different colors to it example let me just give this color i'm going to give maybe this then i will use this and later on i'm going to use this and then i'm just going to select all by pressing ctrl a or with the help of mouse ctrl c and ctrl v okay now i'm going to give some shadow effects first select all these four rectangles right mouse click go to format object go to effects shadow presets and i'm going to use which is offset left and increase the blur size maybe to eight and then i'm going to select one by one the gradient fill for example let me just select as a white color and the second stop i'm just going to make it a light gray color and type select linear and select the linear right and then i'm just going to do the same thing for the rest of this you can see here and i'm just going to bring this somewhat closer to each other overlapping a little bit here you see here a little bit overlapping select by using the mouse you can just highlight it drag like this and release the left arrow key and then so you got a little overlapping for each bar now let me just give the shadow effect for this upper part just hold the shift key and select all these four different colors go to shadow and i will just go to linear i'm going to select this one inside bottom right and color i'm just going to change to white you can see here and the transparency let it be reduced a little bit and blur size also i'm just going to make it zero you can see here i can reduce the transparency maybe if i reduce to zero it looks like more of a a white shadow here and select this one let me just move a little bit all right by mistakenly i think i have given the same color let me just change this color go to format and i'm going to use orange color now uh, because the size is somewhat bigger and i cannot put the text here so i'm just going to select all by pressing ctrl a and ctrl g to group it and hold the shift key and reduce the size how much you want for example let me just keep it this much so this is okay and this is center aligned and select this press ctrl shift g to ungroup it or you can right mouse click ungroup also and then i'm going to insert the shadow or the cutout effect at the bottom for that go to shapes select a rectangle draw a rectangle maybe this much size shape fill make it white or you can just select this color by using the eyedropper the same color you can use it and shape outline make it no outline and go to effects shadow use the top part increase the distance increase the blur size and then i'm going to insert one more rectangle and again shape fill the same color shape outline no outline and just move it somewhat up so you can see here you got the cutout shape now it's time to add the percentages and the text so to add the text go to insert text box and here i'm just saying 25 percent 
center align use some nice font in this case i'm using century gothic increase the size put it here and change the font to white press ctrl d to duplicate it this will be 50 this will be 75 and this will be 100 so let me just change it 50 75 and this is 100 and then you can on the top you can add the detail text here along with the title i'm just going to add detail text again reduce the size use the same font and just put it here all right press ctrl d i'm not adding the title title you can add it later also ctrl d and ctrl d so the text all the details has been added if you want you can put some icons also here so the last step is to do the animation to add the animations go to animations tab enable the animation pane let me just close this format background i'm going to select the very first bar or the column and i'm going to use the wipe effect wipe say from bottom by default it is from bottom only and i'm going to select this part the red part and for that also i'm just going to give a wipe effect and this should happen after previous and this particular text i'm going to give a uh, animation sorry not this let me just delete this i'm selecting this again and I will just say go to more entrance effects and I will just say rise up. Can you see this one? Rise up and click OK. And then for this, I'm going to use a different animation, add animation, more entrance effects and use the stretch and effect option just say from bottom. And this should happen again after previous and this should happen with previous. So if I just play it, it comes something like this. Can you see here? Or if you want the last text also, you can make it after previous also. So all after previous only. Like this. So now for me, it's easy to copy the animation using the animation painter. So first I'm selecting this animation painter. Click on this. Then I'm going to select this animation painter. Click for this then the percentage click here and the detail text i'm just selecting this animation painter click here so if you see here if i just play so this is the first one this is the second one likewise you can do it for the rest of the two also that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye